please rise for the passing of the colors. Good afternoon. On behalf of the university community, I want to welcome you to the 2012 Fall Graduate Commencement Exercises. We will now have the singing of the National Anthem by Ms. Aurora Martin and the posting of the colors by the University Color Guard. Please be seated. As we begin our ceremony this afternoon, I would like to call upon everyone here to join me in a moment of silence, recognizing the tragic loss in the school shootings in Connecticut, if you would. Thank you very much. We are pleased to have with us today representatives from Virginia Tech's Board of Visitors. Board members are appointed by the Governor of Virginia, and Virginia Tech has been fortunate to have a record of appointees who bring to this voluntary service a deep and genuine commitment to the university. I am honored to recognize board members today, the Rector, Mr. Michael Quillen, Dr. Nancy Dye, Mr. Cordell Falk, Ms. Deborah Prachin, Mr. John Rokovich, and three representatives to the board, Dr. Sarah Carpenty, faculty representative, Ms. Sue Teal, staff representative, and Ms. Robin Jones, our graduate student representative. So if I could ask these folks to rise and recognize them with a round of applause. <clears throat> Thank you very much. I'm also pleased to introduce the deans of our colleges. These individuals have the immense responsibility for the academic and administrative direction of each college. 
and I'll ask them to stand as I call their names and we'll recognize them after all the names have been called. Dr. Karen DePaw, Vice President and Dean of the Graduate Education. Dr. Rosemary Blisner, Associate Dean of the Graduate School. Dr. Janet Rankin, Associate Dean of the Graduate School. Dr. Alan Grant, Dean of the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. Professor Jack Davis, Dean of the College of Architecture and Urban Studies. Dr. Richard Sorensen, Dean of the Pamplin College of Business. Dr. Richard Benson, Dean of the College of Engineering. Professor Sue Ott Rollins, Dean of the College of Liberal Arts and Human Sciences. And Dr. Paul Winsdorfer, Dean of the College of Natural Resources and the Environment. Dr. Lainam Chang, Dean of the College of Science. Dr. Gerhard Schurich, Dean of the Virginia Maryland Regional College of Veterinary Medicine. And Dr. Daniel Wuba, Vice President and Dean for Undergraduate Education. Please recognize those with your applause. I would also like to recognize the university's senior administrators who have joined us on stage today. First, Dr. Mark McNamee, Senior Vice President and Provost. Dr. Elizabeth Flanagan, Vice President for Development and University Relations. Dr. William Lewis, Vice President for Diversity and Inclusion. Dr. Scott Midkiff, Vice President for Information Technology. Dr. Patricia Pirello, Vice President for Student Affairs. Mr. Dwight Shelton, Vice President for Finance. Dr. Thomas Tiller, Vice President for Alumni Relations. Dr. Robert Walters, Vice President for Research. And Dr. Sherwood Wilson, Vice President for Administrative Services. Recognize these as well. And also on stage are Dr. Bruce Pinchek, the commencement marshal, Ms. Monica Sulelo de Alvarez, the graduate student marshal, and Mr. Jordan A. Booker, the graduate honor system chief justice, and Ms. Caitlin Shugart Schmidt, uh, the graduate student speaker. Please. This afternoon, we are pleased to recognize and celebrate with our graduate students. We are here to honor them, and this ceremony signifies a tremendous achievement, a celebration of your talents and skills and your hard work. And we look forward with great anticipation to learning of your continued progress and your future accomplishments. I'm sure that you will continue to display the hokey spirit and always be a part of the special Virginia Tech community. As you know, the degrees that you're about to receive are the highest that students may earn. It is also important to note that these students would not have achieved their goals without the teaching and the guidance of their faculty. And I'd like now to ask all of the faculty to stand and be recognized. So if you would please rise. Thank you. There are many faculty and staff members who've worked tirelessly to make this commencement a celebratory event. Many are serving as ushers and marshals today and have taken on additional administrative responsibilities to support this special occasion. I want to thank you for your efforts. Now we know that behind each graduate student is a supporting cast of family and community members. And I'd like these individuals to stand so we could recognize them as well. So all the families of the graduate students Rise. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Graduate students are important to the university's research, teaching, and engagement missions. Virginia Tech offers graduate degrees in 89 masters and 70 doctoral programs in eight colleges and its student body represents nearly 50 states and 120 nations. During the summer and fall semesters, 1,039 students earned advanced degrees, including 699 masters, one specialist education degree, 10 doctorates of education, and 270 doctoral degrees, in addition to 59 advanced graduate certificates. We have nearly 300 graduating students participating with us today. At this time, it's my pleasure to present Virginia Tech's Senior Vice President and Provost, Dr. Mark McNamee, who will introduce the graduate student speaker, Dr. McNamee. 
It's my pleasure to introduce Ms. Caitlin Shugard Schmidt, our graduate student speaker. Caitlin is originally from Logan, Utah. She came to Virginia Tech by way of Randolph Macon Women's College, where she graduated with an honors degree in environmental science. At Virginia Tech, she studied the management uncertainty associated with fisheries in the South Atlantic and is graduating today with a degree in fisheries and wildlife sciences. While at Virginia Tech, Caitlin has served as the Chief Justice of the Graduate Honor System, and she's been a representative to the Graduate Student Assembly. She was elected as Virginia Tech's 2012 Graduate Woman of the Year. After graduation, Caitlin will spend time traveling in Southeast Asia before returning to Washington, D.C. to pursue work in marine science policy. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Caitlin, Caitlin Shugart Schmidt. Thank you, Dr. McNamee, for that introduction. You know, every time I walk onto this campus, I'm reminded of my very first impression visiting Virginia Tech. I felt then, as I feel now, like I had somehow just stumbled out of the mundane world and onto the campus of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Yes, I admit I am a child of the Harry Potter generation. But it's not the Quidditch that gets played on the drill field that gives me that feeling, nor the hokey stone of our buildings, nor the mini gargoyles that seem like they might awaken at any moment. But rather, it's the magic. You see, I'm a student of fisheries, a fish. I spend my time trying to figure out how you can catch more of them without taking too many. That's my skill. And in a stone building on this side of campus, I work with other graduate students to hone that skill. But just there, just a skip away on the other side of campus, in another one of those stone buildings, graduate researchers are studying the very particles and processes that make up the fundamental nature of our universe. In another building, robots made of metal and wire and plastic are dancing to the latest popular tune. A hop away from that, literature and art are carefully crafted in ways that will bring tears to our eyes or show us the beauty in this world. And I wonder what else could it be, this amalgamation of science and art and knowledge spinning between us in novel new ways, but some sort of magic. This really is a community of wizards, each uncovering or discovering some new feature of the universe. And here we stand, now, today, ready to leave our own hokey Hogwarts and head out on our own adventures. We are ready, now, to solve problems that haven't yet been noticed. We are ready to create technology that has yet to be imagined. We are ready to educate others to be the future leaders of our world. Our professors have told us it's time to leave the nest to go and share ourselves with the rest of the world, to use our one-way ticket on the Hogwarts Express back to platform nine and three quarters. When we step off that train, we are on our own. But, you know, no matter what our background or our field of study, we all share one thing today that will follow us into that great unknown. Pride. Pride in the knowledge that you earned your place here today something that no one could do for you. The future is going to be a messy place, unpredictable, complicated, full of surprises. And what can I give you to help you navigate its currents? I'm not a great poet or a Nobel-winning scientist. I can't draw on a century of experience to tell you how things might go. So instead, I want to give you something else. Instead, I want to give you this moment, this memory, so that when you've left this place, when you've celebrated with your family and friends, when you've packed up and moved on, you remember how you feel right now. Remember this excitement, this thrill. Remember with pride what you've accomplished here and take that feeling with you to whatever place you end up, no matter how near or far because you deserve it. 
and because we need you to remember it. So that when things get hard and when things get tough, you remember why it's worth the struggle. Remember that the road is often long, but that victory is oh so sweet. For now, for today, I ask you to relish this moment. You are about to be, forever and always, a graduate of the Hokie Nation. Wear that label with pride. Congratulations. Thank you, Caitlin. We selected uh, commencement speakers today uh, who would be very special. Uh, they are a husband and wife team, both of whom are uh, graduate alumni of Virginia Tech, Dr. Kirk Schultz and Dr. Noel Schultz. Uh, Dr. Kirk Schultz is the 13th president of Kansas State University, which uh, is a large university with 24,000 students. He was raised in Norfolk, Virginia. He attended Old Dominion University before transferring to Virginia Tech and he received both his bachelor's degree and PhD in chemical engineering. He was named Virginia Tech Outstanding Young Alumnus in 2000 and received the Graduate Alumni Achievement Award in 2011. Uh, since he's been at Kansas State, he's implemented the K-State 2025 Visionary Planning Initiative designed to place for, uh, Kansas State among the top 50 public uh, universities by that time. He's active in the American Institute for Chemical Engineers uh, and in the American Society for Engineering Education. And he's a fellow in both the American Society for Engineering Education and the American Association for the Advancement of Science. Dr. Noelle Schultz received her bachelor's and master's degrees in electrical engineering from Virginia Tech and her PhD in electrical engineering from the University of Minnesota. She joined the Kansas State faculty in 2009 and she was named Associate Dean for Research and Graduate Programs in 2012. Before joining Kansas State, she was at Mississippi State, where she was the TVA Professor in Power Systems Engineering. She's graduated 40 master's degrees and 12 PhD students, published over 160 papers, and she's brought more than $10 million in external research, including a National Science Foundation Career Award. Her research interests are in computer applications and power systems. She's president of the IEEE Power and Energy Society. Uh, she's a member of Ada Kappa Nu Electrical Engineering Honor Society, the American Society for Engineering Education, the Society of Women Engineers, and the National Society of Black Engineers. She served on the board of directors for ASEE from 2008 to 2010. Now today is a little bit unusual in that uh, both doctors, both of them, Noel and Kurt, uh, have been stranded in Kansas because of the snowstorm. Uh, so they're not able to be here, although they're here in spirit. And so uh, for the next 10 seconds, you're going to hear one of the shortest commencement speeches ever delivered at a university commencement. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Schultz, for those inspiring words. <laughs> it's now my pleasure to call upon Graduate Dean Dr. Karen DePa, who will acknowledge the accomplishments of the graduates and offer special images and reflections presentation, followed by an introduction of the candidates to be hooded. That was a great speech, Mark. <laughs> One of the greatest pleasures that I have as graduate school dean is to introduce the candidates for graduate degrees. And we're going to get to that in just a few minutes, because before that, I want to acknowledge some of your accomplishments and share them with those who are gathered today. Each and every student does have a story to tell of their experiences and their activities during their graduate education. Today, we wish to recognize and acknowledge many of you who have been an integral part of this very strong graduate community. This is where you get to participate. So please stand and remain standing if you are a student who have been 
who has been awarded any of the nation's most competitive fellowships, including those from the National Science Foundation, Okay, someone's out there. The U.S. Departments of Agriculture, Defense, Education, Energy, Homeland Security, Interior, or Transportation. The EPA, NASA. Okay, I know some of you are out there. I, I, it takes a while, I know, for, for you to stand up. Please stand if you were selected for a research assistantship. Please stand if you have ever received an award or scholarship from the state or national foundation, such as the SRE, SRE Board, GEM, Fulbright, or other professional, oh, thank you, good. We finally got some folks standing, yes. Um, from uh, Sigma Xi, Golden Key, Delta Gamma, Kappa Gamma, uh, and many others. Please stand if you were able to complete your studies because of a Virginia Tech Legacy Fellowship or scholarship that has been established by some of our alumni or a memorial gift um, out, uh, recognizing our outstanding professors. Among these include the Cunningham, the Pratt, the Charles Via, the Fleming, the McComas, Peterson, Bradley, Cameron, Francis, Powell, and many more. Please remain standing and be recognized if you have been selected as an outstanding master's or doctoral student in your college. Or if you have received graduate, keep standing. Don't sit down yet, keep standing, keep standing. Okay, hang in there. Um, or if you have um, graduate teaching assistance excellence, graduate student service excellence award, the William Preston Society thesis award, or any award provided by your department or college. Please remain standing and be recognized if you have earned the distinction of becoming a citizen scholar. Please stand if you have been inducted into the university's graduate academic and leadership honorary society Alpha, Epsilon, Lambda, or the Interdisciplinary Research Honor Society, Iota, Delta, Rho. And please stand if you have participated in the Graduate Scholars Society, the Graduate Student Assembly in attending their meetings or serving in leadership roles. You were a delegate in your department, served on a university committee, presented your work at the Graduate Research Symposium or any other conference or event sponsored by the Graduate School. Okay, I don't have you all standing yet, so give me a, a, one more paragraph here. Please stand if you have ever visited the Graduate Life Center, attended a workshop, symposium, had a class in the Graduate Life Center, used the computer lab, reading room, or lived there. Some of you I know have lived there. Or you visited the grad school. I think by now you've probably all visited the grad school. Used the walk-in services, the writing center, the counseling center, career center, or relaxed at the outdoor plaza outside the Graduate Life Center. By now, all of you should be standing, and we want to congratulate you, your work, your service, your accomplishments um, that you have committed to the university. Congratulations. Let's join them. These are our grads. OK, and now you can be seated. Thank you. Each year, we select graduates for some spe special recognition. And most of the time, this comes as a surprise. I don't know whether it will this time. But we have at least five married couples who are receiving their PhDs. And we might also have some masters and, and, and uh, masters or masters doctoral. So the ones that I am aware of, and please stand, are uh, Pardish and Ali Reza in environmental design and planning, architecture and design research. Please stand. Please, uh, well, I'll go through the rest of them, okay, so you can keep standing. Uh, Karen and William in aerospace engineering. Julie and Raymond from biological sciences. Okay. Jahantha and Deepthi from uh, animal and poetry, uh, poetry uh, poultry sciences and animal sciences and dairy, and Reed and McFire from Aspect. Five, PH, five married couples earning their PhD. Are there others that are in this room that I didn't call out? Congratulations.
Many of the friends and families of today's graduates have sacrificed time and resources to help their loved ones attain the hard-won goal of a graduate degree. For those who provided support but weren't a part of the graduate experience, we would now like to share with you a few images of this past year that reflect upon the diversity, vitality, and the experiences of our graduate students. Please take a few minutes to enjoy the visual presentation, which is accompanied by an original composition by Virginia Tech professor uh, James Sojinski. It's played in honor of the Virginia Tech, played in honor of today's graduates by the Virginia Tech Brass Ensemble. Its title is a paraphrasing of Invent the Future. <laughs> Thank you. 
We will now begin the conferral of degrees. The presentation of the doctoral degree is accompanied by a special tradition within academia. The doctoral degree recipients will be hooded by their major professors. The faculty member who accompanies the student to the stage is a member of the student's research committee and in most cases is the student's major doctoral advisor. That faculty member who mentored the student and most closely supervised his or her research. By hooding the graduate today, the faculty member symbolically welcomes the graduate as a professional colleague. A professional relationship and friendship often continues throughout the graduates and the mentors' lives. Will all of the candidates for the Doctor of Philosophy and the Doctor of Education degrees please rise? President Steger, I have the honor to present the candidates for the Doctor of Philosophy and the Doctor of Education degrees. With the power vested in me by the Board of Visitors and the Commonwealth of Virginia, and upon recommendation of the faculty, I confer upon you the Doctor of Philosophy and Doctor of Education degrees to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Please be seated. Will the marshals escort the candidates for the doctoral degrees and their major professors to the stage for the hooding ceremony? Professor Joel Marola will read the names of the doctoral recipients and the hooding professors. receiving the Doctor of Philosophy from the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences in Agriculture and Extension Education, Stephen Wyatt Edwards, hooded by Professor Donna Westfall Rudd. Lisa Sarah Hightower, Quoted by Professor Kim Niwolny. <laughs> Carrie Louise Priest, hooded by Professor Rick Rudd. <laughs> In Animal and Dairy Sciences, Li Ying Ma, hooded by Professor Benjamin Coral. Arta Pratim Rai, hooded by Professor Catherine Knowlton. <laughs> Jennifer Ann Starney, hooded by Professor Benjamin Coral. <laughs> Deepti Nayanangele Wetat Peruma Arachige hooded by Professor Mark Hannigan. In Animal and Poultry Sciences, Gianta Bandara Adikari Adikari Mudian Salagi, hooded by Professor Ed Smith. Tracy L. Scheffler, hooded by Professor Dave Gerard. In biochemistry, Siobhan Nicole Thorpe, hooded by Professor James Mahaney. <laughs> Craig Jeffrey Tolan, hooded by Professor John Shin Chen.
in Agricultural Economics, Anthony Gregory Murray, put it by Professor Bradford Mills. In Food Science and Technology, Catherine Amy Thompson Wittrick, put it by Professor Sean O'Keefe. In horticulture, Sukwindor Singh Alak, put it by Professor Richard Villieux and Professor Barry Flynn. Theodore McAvoy, put it by Professor Joshua Freeman. In Human Nutrition, Foods, and Exercise, Samantha Marie Hardin, put it by Professor Paul Estabrooks. <laughs> Serena Parks, put it by Professor Paul Estabrooks. In Plant Pathology, Physiology, and Weed Science, Wei Hao, put it by Professor Anton Baudouin. From the College of Agri Architecture and Urban Studies, Pardis Pishdad Bozorgi, hooded by Professor Ivan Belovo. <clears throat> Ali Reza Borgi, hooded by Professor Jim Jones. In Architecture and Design Research, Ahmed Kamal Ali, put it by Professor Jim Jones. In Environmental Design and Planning, Brendan Ashley Johnston, put it by Professor Yvonne Beliveau. Jason David Lucas, hooded by Professor Walid Tabet. In Planning, Governance, and Globalization, Magthira Dalan Taylor, hooded by Professor Chad Lavin. From the College of Engineering in Aerospace Engineering, Karen Mary Louise Walker hooded by Professor Joseph Schetz. <laughs> William Paul Walker, hooded by Professor William Canfield. <laughs> Brian Robert Leslie, hooded by Professor Joseph Schetz. In Biological Systems Engineering, Javier uh, Mauricio Osorio Leighton, hooded by Professor Mary Lee Wolf. In Civil Engineering, Sembra Jomu, hooded by Professor John Taylor. Nestor R. Suarez Zamprano, hooded by Professors Thomas Brandon and Professor Jim Mitchell. In Computer Engineering, Suk Shin Ha, hooded by Professor Yaling Yang. Yousef Shafiq Iskander, hooded by Professor Cameron Patterson. In Computer Science and Applications, Anthony James Alavato, hooded by Professor Stephen Edwards.
Alexander Endert, hooded by Professor Chris North. Sheng Guo, hooded by Professor Narin Ramakrishnan. Jonathan P. Leidig, hooded by Professor Edward Fox and Professor Madhav Marate. Jen Yu, hooded by Professor Yang Kao. Guan Ying Wong, hooded by Professor Ali Boot. In electrical engineering, Yang Hun Cho, hooded by Professor Ji Shang Lai. Nadir Abdulmonem Shihata, hooded by Professor Kathleen Meehan. Tae Yung Yang, hooded by Professor William David and Professor Warren Stutzman. Ji Hang Yi, hooded by Professor Jesus de la Garza. In engineering education, Andrea Goncher, hooded by Professor Lisa McNair. In engineering mechanics, Abdesatar Abdul Kefi, hooded by Professor Mohammed Haj and Professor Ali Nafi. Maran Terani, hooded by Professor Marwan Ali. In Industrial and Systems Engineering, Laura Ann Cavioto, hooded by Professor Mari Nussbaum. Kimberly A. Gaussapool, hooded by Professor Woodrow Winchester. Surish Sarkar, Hooded by Professor John Shuchuk. <laughs> Shin Zhang, hooded by Professor Ibru Bish. In mechanical engineering, Paul Christopher Diangio, hooded by Professor Dennis Hong. Woon Kyung Kim, hooded by Professor Andrew Kurdila. Justin Andrew Lamont, hooded by Professor Srinath Ekad. Colin James Regal, hooded by Professor Srinath Ekad. In mining engineering, Zeshan Haider, hooded by Professor Nino Repepi. From the College of Liberal Arts and Human Sciences in Social, Political, Ethical, and Cultural Thought, Damien Keith Blake, hooded by Professor Max Stevenson and Professor Karen Holt.
Reed W. Taylor, put it by Professor Peter Schmittenner. In counselor education, Michelle Renee Gostin, put it by Professor Gerard Lawson and Professor Laura Welfare. Kristen Lay Barner Moran, quoted by Professor Nancy Bodenhorn and Professor Penny Burge. In curriculum and instruction, Amy Michelle Brenner, quoted by Professor Jennifer Brill. Janine E. Edelton, quoted by Professor Peter Doolittle. <laughs> Travis W. Eschenman, quoted by Professor Barbara Lockey. Elza Helena Sodes, hooded by Professor Mary Alice Barksdale and Professor Brett Jones. <laughs> Edward Lee Rakes, hooded by Professor Brett Jones. David Eric Vance, hooded by Professor Jennifer Brill. In human development, Zhang Jing, hooded by Professor Peggy Mazaros. From the College of Natural Resources in Forestry and Forest Products, Kamal Gokia, hooded by Professor Valerie Thomas. <laughs> Ching Ching Li, hooded by Professor Scott Renekar. <laughs> From the College of Science in Biological Sciences, Julie Elizabeth Danner, hooded by Professor Jeff Walters. <laughs> Raymond Michael Danner, hooded by Professor Jeff Walters. <laughs> Tracy James, Hooded by Professor Jeff Walters. In chemistry, John Bo Ho, hooded by Professor Lewis Madsen. In economics, Niraj Pudyal, hooded by Professor Aris Spanos. In mathematics, Jen Wei Kao, hooded by Professor Alexander Elgart. In physics, Chi Yu Yao, hooded by Professor Hans Robinson. John Dean Leacock II, hooded by Professor Mark Pitt. In statistics, Nels Gordon Johnson, hooded by Professor In Young Kim.
Jennifer Lynn Karam Kensler, hooded by Professor Jeffrey Vining. From the Virginia, Maryland Regional College of Veterinary Medicine in Biomedical and Veterinary Sciences, Thomas Edward Ciceri, hooded by Professor Tanya Leroyth. <laughs> Abdul Ghafur Putiavitil Abdul Kader, hooded by Professor David Caudel. Shobana Ragunat, hooded by Professor Ellen Kumaran Subia. Interdisciplinary doctoral degrees in genetics, bioinformatics, and computational biology, Elaine Okanya Nsoesi, hooded by Professor Madhav Marate. In macromolecular science and engineering, Chan Yu Wu, hooded by Professor Timothy Long. From the College of Liberal Arts and Human Sciences, receiving the Doctor of Education in Career and Technical Education, Christopher Brian Stacy, hooded by Professor Daisy Cartwright. Eric Ryan Workman, Sr., hooded by Professor Daisy Cartwright. In Educational Leadership and Policy Studies, Janet Agnes Greer, hooded by Professor Walter Mallory. Luke Aaron Hartman, hooded by Professor James Craig. Dana Richburg Jackson, hooded by Professor Carol Cash. Ronald Madison Lay, hooded by Professor Glenn Earthman. Diane Pollard hooded by Professor Carol Cash. <laughs> Thomas Jerome Schott, hooded by Professor Carol Cash. <laughs> Omega Williams Wilson, hooded by Professor James Cray. And receiving the Doctor of Philosophy in Civil Engineering, Ren Jun Zhao, hooded by Professor Jesus de la Garza. A round of applause for the newest recipients of doctoral degrees. I would now like to acknowledge those students who have earned the postmaster's education specialist degrees and those who have earned the graduate certificate. For those of you who have received the educational specialist degree, please stand. Many graduate students choose advanced educational programs that lead to a graduate certificate. Please stand if you have earned the graduate certificate and the ones that I have listed here today are Collaborative Community Leadership Grad Certificate, Engineering Education, Future Professoriate Grad Certificate, Geospatial Information Technology, Human Computer Interaction, Health Product Risk Management, Information Assurance Engineering, Local Government Management, Liberal Arts, Learning Sciences, Natural Resources, Nuclear Engineering, Naval Engineering, Nonprofit and Non-Governmental Organization Management, Security Studies, 
quantitative resource assessment, software development, technology development, and women's studies. Congratulations to all of you who have earned grad certificates. As you heard earlier, Virginia Tech offers master's degrees in 89 different fields. These include the Master of Arts and the Master of Science degrees in many academic disciplines. We also offer the Master of Fine Arts, the Masters of Business Administration, Administration and Professional Master's degrees in disciplines such as Architecture, Education, Engineering, Forestry, Information Technology, Natural Resources, Public Affairs, Urban Plan Public Affairs and Urban um, Planning, and Public Health. And now, we will recognize those students who have earned these master's degrees. So will all the candidates for the master's, of, master's degree please rise. President Steger, I have the honor to present the candidates for the master's degrees. With the power vested in me by the Board of Visitors in the Commonwealth of Virginia, and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I confer upon you the master's degrees to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Please be seated. Will the marshals please escort the candidates for the master's degree to the stage? Professor Marola will read the names of the master's degree recipients. From the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences, receiving the Master's of Science in Agriculture and Life Sciences, Eric Bowen. Antoine Rose. Chad Benton. Maurice Smith, Jr. Receiving the Master of Science in Animal and Poultry Sciences, Hannah Wadecki. Michelle Aguilar. Receiving the Masters of Life Sciences in Entomology, James Wilson. Sean Gresham. Receiving the Masters of Life Sciences in Food Science and Technology, Nareen Bake. Darian Johnson. Jerry Costal. Receiving the Masters of Science in Horticulture. Jack Irwin. Dong Fang Emily Zhao. From the College of Architecture and Urban Sciences, receiving the Master of Science in Building Construction, Ashley Drake. Receiving the Master of Landscape Architecture, Dan Wong. Receiving the Master of Public Administration, Jonathan Hedrick. Receiving the Master of Urban and Regional Planning, Catherine Shackelford. Irene Aspruda. From the Pamplin College of Business, receiving the Master of Accounting and Information Systems, Brian Lindstrom. Joseph Viola. Stacy Armstrong. Nicholas Waller. Benjamin Thompson. <laughs> Meredith Vogt. Receiving the Master of Business Administration, Carlene Clark. <laughs> Laura Stepnowski. Larry Dixon. Kevin Mann. Trenton Despain. 
Aaron de Spain. From the College of Engineering, receiving the Master of Science in Aerospace Engineering, David Jingaleski. Matthew Vaughn, receiving the Master of Science in Biological Systems Engineering, Katie Brill. Janelle Henry, receiving the Master of Science in Civil Engineering, Samuel Drumheller. Aaron Klingschern, Zachary Simpson, Scott Gilson, Anthony Sinamo, Frank Semino, Adam Depoy, Melis Sutman, Voita Gall, Natalie Raven, Catherine Warwick, Megan Gray, Christine Wynn, Melissa Smith, John Corboy, Kevin Basili, Marlon Lamb, Chien Chang, Shitiz Upreti. Justin St. Clair. Daniel Mogrovejo Carrasco. Celso Castro Bolinega. Wayne Chung. Receiving the Master of Science and Master of Engineering in Computer Engineering, Lyndon Judge. Receiving the Master of Science in Computer Science and Applications, Kevin Logan. Kyle Morgan. Receiving the Master of Science in Ocean Engineering, William Newman. Receiving the Master of Science and Master of Engineering in Electrical Engineering, Jabril Salem. Rebecca Curley. Evan Thomas. James Hurt. Joseph Macon. Jong O Jong. Yin Wang, Wu Chan Kim, Hyun Su Ko, Siddharth Vijaragavan, Gayan Shrestha. Receiving the Master of Science in Engineering Mechanics, Brendan Kulbach. Benjamin Allen. Receiving the Master of Science in Environmental Engineering, Victoria Hoyland. Miguel Miranda. 
receiving the Master of Science in Industrial Systems Engineering, Stephen Coons. Carson Mayer. Laura Toole. Lauren Barlett. Sebastian Moulin. Swati Sudhakar. Anunth Siva Subramanian. Subramanian Venkata Krishnan. Yingji Shen. Receiving the Master of Science in Material Science and Engineering, Jonathan Huang. Shayanti Banerjee. Denise Aranda. Receiving the Master of Science in Mechanical Engineering, Brian Beam. Alexander Kalin. Megan Thompson. Receiving the Master of Science in Mining Engineering, Suzanne Underwood. From the College of Liberal Arts and Human Sciences, receiving the Master of Science and Master of Arts in Education, in Education in Career and Technical Engi Education, Samantha Boyd. Deidria Perkins. Lynn Dillard, receiving the Master of Education in Curriculum and Instruction, Jonathan Teglas, Ruth Adkins, Kimberly Mayo, Terry Palmer, Jenny Ferguson. Sandra Farmer. Colleen Gallimore Webb. Emily Curry. Amanda Bedwell. Kara Elizabeth Hendon Wainwright. Michelle Algatani. Monica Sulicio de Alvarez. Receiving the Master of Arts in History, Aaron Curtis. From the College of Natural Resources, receiving the Master of Science and Master of Forestry in Forestry, Richard Allen. Receiving the Master of Natural Resources, Richard Morer. In Fisheries and Wildlife, Caitlin Leanne Puanani Shugart Schmidt. From the College of Science, receiving the Master of Science in Chemistry, Alexandra Fersner. Sanem Kayandan. Receiving the Master of Science in Mathematics, Alan Latimer. Receiving the Master of Science in Psychology, Jonathan Waldron. Receiving the Master of Science in Statistics, Ashley Nelson. Liam Cryan. Adam James. Receiving the Master of Information Technology from Interdisciplinary Programs, Bijoy Kuniel. Anthony Roby. Beth Lynn Robinson. 
Juan Descorbet. John Martin. Christian Hudson. Gregory Sutu. Shamir Douglas. Carolyn Inglefield. Anita Rao. Sanjeev Parikh. Carlos Dickens. Marcus Potts. Mark Howley. Receiving the Master of Science in Macromolecular Science and Engineering Life Sciences, Orkan Kemakji. Hale. Chignem Arka, receiving the Master of Science in Systems Engineering, Jimmy Ayadele, and receiving the Masters of Public Administration, Kelvin Garcia. Congratulations to all of the masters and doctoral candidates, our degree recipients. And finally, we would like to take a few moments to acknowledge the immense talent, commitment, and responsibilities of the faculty. They are so critical to the advancement of graduate education at Virginia Tech. And I would like to ask Dr. Sarah Carpenty, President of the Faculty Senate, to offer some remarks on behalf of the faculty. On behalf of the Virginia Tech faculty, I would like to first congratulate you for the graduate degrees that you have worked so hard to earn today. We appreciate the opportunity to send you off with just a few more ideas. As a faculty member in the College of Natural Resources and Environment, I look to the natural world for wisdom and advice. Author and educator Henry Van Dyke shared my love for nature, and he offered this charge which I share with you today. Use what talents you possess. The woods would be very silent if no birds sang there except those that sang best. We hope that we have helped you to develop your talents and to gain the knowledge and skills that will serve as pillars for those talents. For you to have received this degree today, we clearly think that you are among the best of the birds in the forest. Now we ask you very simply to follow the lead of those songbirds. Use your talents, even if you still feel that they are imperfect. As part of a very small percent of the general population to hold a graduate degree, you have a unique responsibility to not only use these talents, but to also share them with those who seek to follow you. We need each and every one of you, whatever your discipline, to be entrepreneurs, problem solvers, and mentors to the next generation. These are not times for individuals with your talents to accept the status quo or to sit on the sidelines. I offer one last thought. As you move forward in using and further developing your talents, surround yourself with family and friends and colleagues that will challenge you. We are never finished learning. 
As faculty, we learn every day from our students and we thank you for that opportunity. We encourage you too to place yourself in an environment where you will learn every day. We wish you the best and on behalf of the faculty, congratulations. I would like to offer a special thanks to Dr. Joseph Marola as the reader of the names and to Ms. Aurora Martin and the members of the Virginia Tech Brass Ensemble for their part in this afternoon's ceremony. Now, if you would, please stand until the stage party has recessed. With the recessional, our ceremony will be concluded. Thank you for joining us and have a safe trip home.